Is Alien Romulus a sequel to Alien Covenant? A question some of you may feel patently obvious. However, if you google Alien Romulus, this is one of the most searched questions. And so, I thought I would answer that and delve into how actually this film is kind of a sequel to everything. It's a sequel to Prometheus, a sequel to Covenant, a sequel to Alien, and, you know, connected to Aliens as well. So, hit subscribe if you're new here folks, turn the bell notifications on, and again, if this seems obvious to you, no need to watch the video. But again, as it is one of the most searched questions on Google, I think it's relevant and important and pertinent to answer this question. However, that being said, to answer this question, we do have to dive into some spoilers. So, you have to be prepared for full spoilers ahead. You have been warned. You have been warned. So Prometheus rocketed back onto the scene all those years ago, promising grand philosophy and great wonder, introducing us to David, the maniacal android, and Numi Rapace's Dr. Elizabeth Shaw, out there on a mission wildly through space, uh, way yonder trying to search for the meaning of life, our creators, our existence. And that movie did introduce us to the black goo. This is the mutagen, the canisters, the vials, the bioweapon which the engineers use to either create life or eradicate life. I guess it's dependent on the application. This was unfortunately not massively regarded by the fandom. Although people did persevere, and then, of course, we got Alien Covenant, where David's maniacal android went a little step further towards, essentially, Space Hitler, I guess. Eradicating engineers on Planet 4, uh, rocketing down multiple payloads of the black goo mutagen, and just destroying the entire planet. We were then introduced to David's lab, a thing of wonder, actually, a thing which has captivated individuals on the internet for some time. And since then, well, we haven't had a movie because it wasn't very well received. It didn't do very well at the box office and the audience scores as well as the critic scores, eh, it wasn't, it wasn't a well received entry to the franchise. We were promised originally somewhere between five and six alien movies from Sir Ridley Scott and we have now resulted in uh, zero more. Until now, Freddy Alvarez. So the question, is Alien Romulus a sequel to Covenant? I think it's important to highlight what Prometheus and Alien Covenant introduced when we come to answer this question. The black goo is actually the connective tissue. This is the spoilery element to Alien Romulus, so it has to be addressed. It had to be discussed uh, about Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Again, to answer whether Alien Romulus is a sequel. In Alien Romulus, ladies and gentlemen, this is both a sequel to Alien Covenant as well as the original Alien film. No, 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 we will not be getting Ripley. Ripley is not in Alien Romulus. And in fact, that is actually another of the most searched questions on Google. So this, I guess you could count as a two for one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm answering two questions in one. Is Ripley in Alien Romulus? No, no she is not. However, there are two things both from Alien Covenant and Alien which is going to appear in Alien Romulus. Alien Romulus is connected to Covenant. It is a sequel to Covenant in a way, but also technically a sequel to Alien, both directly with the connective tissue that the film lays down. So. How is it connected to Alien and how is it connected to Covenant? Both by exactly the same thing. The big chap. The Alien. Now the Alien is on board the Renaissance Station. The original Alien from Alien. The original Xenomorph makes another appearance. In fact, I believe it's the big chap that we see in the teaser trailer. And I can't wait for a feature-length trailer, hopefully this month, in fact. I would love that. That would be great. But it is the big chap. The big chap has been found. 
It was seen last seen floating through space with a harpoon through it. I've done a video on how I believe it was found, actually, a theory video. I'll leave it linked above. But it was found floating through space and taken to a research facility. Now, the android known as Rook, which is actually uh, an Ash model, it's the same face as Ash. This will be applied through AI and some voice modulation. This android has spent many years toiling away, reverse engineering the DNA of the big chap. And thus, manages to find, hidden away, squirreled secretly away, the black goo mutagen. And it is from all of this, it is from this black goo mutagen and the big chap himself, how the Wayland yutani Corporation comes into contact with so many facehuggers, how it has all of the xenomorphs, these bioweapons. It has somehow managed to crack the black goo. And it has been using it to experiment on the Romulus module aboard the Renaissance station. Now, this is not explicitly stated in the movie. It is there in the movie, but not not as explicit as one you know may may think of listening to all of this, but it is in the movie, so it is it is a direct sequel, one may say, to Covenant and Alien, in the regard that it includes elements from both films, uh, Alien specifically the big chap and the idea of the black goo held within the big chap's DNA. So is Alien Romulus a sequel to Alien Covenant? Yes. But I also think it's done it in a really, really good way. Because this film, as we've seen in the trailer, clearly segments itself nicely between, in terms of its genre, Alien and Aliens, whilst including elements from Prometheus and Covenant. Which I think is a really good way to move things forward. It also brings it back to the bare bones basics of what these films are. Horror films. I enjoy the philosophical meandering through space that we have done uh, in previous films. Prometheus, for instance. I enjoyed that film. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure for me, although it definitely has its flaws. But having some of those elements back, I like. I like a lot. And I also like the fantastic imagery that we have had with Alien Romulus and some of the symbolism there. So there you go. Is Alien Romulus a sequel to Covenant? Yes, yes it is. Is Ripley in Alien Romulus? No, but the big chap is. So there you go. Again, this video wouldn't have been for everyone, but it will be for some people. This is one of the most searched questions on Google, and I thought we would answer it. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.